otherwise it's scanned. Uh, so for the first time, we changed our year's convention. Uh, so we normally would meet on the even years. We changed it to the odd years. That way we would not line up with our congressional and state senate elections for even something to do more work on. So this means I have a tangible measurement of how much we grew in a year. We went from 111 delegates to 230. It means we went from, we went from about 1,000 people to nearly 2,300 people in the span of a year. It's not about how much we grew. It's about what we did with that group. In the last year, 2016, we knocked 580,000 doors and made 980,000 calls. Uh, not to brag, but you know, facts are great. Um, it, made us all, it made us over 55% of YDA's national campaign data. Uh, we intend to keep that up. And we want to help any state in our region that we can, any state we can, anywhere. Uh, we've already spoke, uh, spoken with Washington about doing 9 p.m. to 12 p.m. calls because I can't call my candidates then, but theirs are just starting up. We can work together the best we can, use every hour we can. Like, I look at this organization as a way to help elect our candidates and help get our issues across. And we get our issues across by showing that we show up, by sh showing that we work hard. And my board will tell you, if I, whatever conference call boils down to is, will this help me make more calls and knock more doors? I want to knock two million. Uh, sorry, I want to knock one million doors and two and make two and a half million calls over my next two years as president. That's going to be a lot, but I think we can do it. In my first three months, we've made near, we've made over two hundred thousand calls to special elections around our state, Ossoff, Montana, and others. We've also knocked nearly uh, eight thousand doors, Jamie. Mm -hmm. We've knocked eight thousand doors in a special election that was a traditionally sixty percent red state assembly seat that we won. Woo! Yeah. We're getting out there. We're getting out there. You know, this year we're going to try to help every race we can. We actually just started endorsing candidates right before we left. The day, Tuesday, we endorsed our first lady of candidates that we're going out for. We're going to keep it up. We need, but we want to help you guys. We want to help everyone we can. The battle's not just here. You guys are going to hear me make this pitch. If any of you have already heard me, you can't stop me now because it's my turn to speak. But, you know, other times. <laughs> New York State has more swing congressional districts than any state in the country. New York State also has one of the two most expensive media markets of any state in the country. You help us take back our state senate, which we are only two or three seats away from doing. We can draw districts in 2020. If we draw districts in 2020, we win back our congressional seats. We get to send those hundreds of millions of dollars spent in our state to other places, to other battles. Now, I know New York's a blue state. We're a blue region. But if we can get that $120 million and probably would spend in media, take eight swing seats, turn them into six blue ones, I can set, we can send that money elsewhere to start taking back Congress. Mm. That's what I want to do. So, we've got a few seats in mind. Always, we're always ready to go fight them. They're, all, they're closer to you guys than it is to most of our members down in the city. We've got sit, seats upstate, 58, where, where it's a Senate seat that is controlled by four counties that have more Democrats than Republicans in each and every one of them, but is still held by a Republican. We have a 95-year-old Republican who only won re-election by 1,800 votes. We can take those two seats, we've got a majority. We do that, we can get a redistricting. If we can do that, we can start taking back Congress nationally. And finally, not have so many stupid swing seats. So, thank you guys. If there's anything we can do, feel free to ask. If there's any candidate we can help, feel free to ask. Every state who ha every to every state who has a split legislature like ours. Well, we have an IDC, so that's entirely. To every state that has a split legislature, period. That's what I'm about taking back because I want to draw the lines, and that's what matters. Look, it's hard to get members motivated to go out for their state assembly members. It's hard to get the people who are not yet members motivated to canvass for them. We want to canvass the congressional seats because that's what you know. But what really matters is drawing these lines. You know, maybe we should have a different way to do it, but until then, we gotta get control of them. Because we, we are one state legislature away from having a Republican National Convention where they can rewrite the Constitution. So I'm not standing for that. So if you guys need help with anything at all, New York's here to help. Thank you. Woo.